when I'm feeling comfy in my stage clothes, then that's the time when everything changes. Like it's like a sort of cut between the pre-show and the showtime. Fabio, last time I spoke to you, that's before, I think, two tours and a 70,000 tons of metal cruise. Exactly. So a lot of fun stuff has happened in the meantime. How are yeah. you doing? Fine. We are towards the end of the tour. Uh, that's the day before the last exactly. tour, the last show in the Netherlands, Uden. And then the tour is over for the moment. So yeah. there's been a lot of things going on between the power shows, the release show, Japan. 70,000 tons of metal and now the full European tour so yeah, yeah. so basically Easy. you are ready to go home and have a day off I can say <laughs> definitely I'm ready to go home it has been tough because everybody has been sick oh no on the tour so yeah, yeah. never never had a chance to recover properly oh but uh, nevertheless we played all the shows regularly and uh, response was amazing so yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the only important thing right there you go there you go well i mean you're, i would say that your health is as important as the fans uh, True, liking the but show. we have to try to uh live with uh without it yeah, uh, yeah you yeah. know what i mean like if there was nothing happening but of course there is a pros and cons because when you're when, when you're postponing your health yeah. uh you bring it home exactly exactly but exactly. we are we made it towards the end from our last conversation, just a little side question here. From our last conversation, I think you mentioned to me that when you are driving or having long drives, it's when you can feel like a teenager again and listen to music you like. Because you have you work in music, you work not just Absolutely. with your own bands, you work with so many bands. Um, so that's a time for you to kind of listen to just new stuff or old stuff. So the tour also means a lot of driving. Um, yes. Yes. In North America, where I'm from, the drives are a little Extreme. longer but then that in Europe nevertheless did you have any chance in between being sick and having to play shows to, to listen to some good music uh, honestly I I was so sick in the first days that I even had to postpone all the work for the studio oh, wow. and I had only a chance in my uh, hotel room on the second day off so the first day off I was totally KO here and the first uh, second day off I had a chance to to work on some of the stuff I left over in the studio but honestly speaking i even forgot my uh, regular airpods yeah, yeah, yeah so i have only regular headphones which don't fit my iphone and therefore i couldn't listen to yeah, anything yeah. i even wanted at night to like watch some videos to fall asleep and stuff and i could not yeah, yeah so yeah. that's totally my fault i didn't have any time so this is not let's say the tour that you will remember as the, the no. world's greatest tour of all time <laughs> no i mean response people uh everything great yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, as for me of course i had uh yeah it was tough at the beginning because yeah, yeah, uh yeah. The, the, the sickness was was always there and never going really completely away and yeah that didn't give me this this sparkle to like do something for myself yeah 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 and um, the, the first possibilities w w were really on the second day off where i finally could have like a room for myself but even there it was a totally terrible night because the okay. like the mattress was awful i was so close to go back to the bus oh, no. although i had a hotel room you know <laughs> <laughs> it was really insanely unfair yeah but it is the way it is yeah uh, we survived but... life of a rock star eh? exactly but uh there is definitely good music going on especially here with the support bands oh, yeah. check out uh flower lift tulip before the first half of the tour terra atlantica so there is uh, and obviously temperance but obviously. i don't have to introduce yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but uh a lot of new music from that side at least you said yeah. you know so far the reaction has been great yeah. the album was really well uh received um album was you know best symphonic album of the year for uh for, for our channel so fantastic um so how is it because it's always you know doesn't really matter how critics receive an album 
you never really know when you're going to tour with a new album, you know, what's going to work really well. You had a few singles, obviously, of the yeah. album. So um, any any surprises for you? Maybe that's the right way to ask, ask this. Like when you were playing some of the new stuff uh, on this tour, were there surprises for you, reactions that you weren't expecting? I was not expecting. Honestly, I wasn't expecting so great, great reactions on uh, End of Babylon. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know why, uh, the very beginning, I didn't think this is a potential live song. Okay. Don't, don't ask me why. I had the, this feeling like this is one of the songs that you don't necessarily have to play live. But actually, the response every day is amazing. Even from the Power Wolf shows, like from the first mm -hmm. shows we did in November, October. And now we're carrying it on uh, the normal set list. And the response is always amazing on this song. And this was kind of a surprise for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also the surprise on, on all the other songs. Of course, we are playing the singles. Yeah. And of course, there is a lot of going on between the songs. The people still like the old songs, but. But still, with the new songs, it's, it's, it's amazing how reflections have been uh, received. Yeah, also, yeah, yeah. this is also a song like in the normal uh, constellation of eight and a half minutes. It wouldn't have been possible to, to keep also the momentum and mm -hmm. having a pianist live, which wouldn't fit this, <laughs> the stage today, for example. Uh, therefore, uh, we, we were smart enough to create a radio edit or a video edit. Yeah. And this works amazingly. And this also was a little bit of a surprise, I have to say. I want to see all your hands up in the air. Because now I see everybody, there's no excuse. Put your hand up on your mobile phone for the way you're bringing Thank you. Let's go! Andy! Show them how to do it! Now, we're talking a few hours before the show. Yeah. Um, you play in a lot of different bands and work with a lot of different uh, musicians. Um, is it uh, Pechta, the, the Black Metal yeah. Pechta, where you have to apply some uh, some level of corpse paint, if you will? Yeah, um, something like this. Is yeah. there, uh, for in, in Serenity for Fabio, is there, like, you're very, you, you come across right now as very calm and laid back. Yes. Um, between now, and the stage, like what has to change for you to get into stage, Fabio? The conditions. It's really important when the conditions are uh, favorable, because when they are not favorable, of course, it's uh, especially in, in certain situations like having 24 people in backstage and maybe you don't get into the mood. Mm -hmm. I need to get into the mood by being quiet, at least for an hour before the show or more I want to have time to change my clothes at the right time I'm very methodic and very uh, I have a routine and when I cannot uh, respect the routine I'm getting stressed so to get the real uh, stage Fabio I need to go through my routines pre-show mm -hmm. which means dressing up at a certain time I know that my deadline is where temperance is on stage and I hear the first note. I want to start changing my clothes. I want to do my uh, tendons massage because it's long tour and I had also I had to struggle with my muscles a little bit in this tour. Perhaps I wasn't used to, to have such long tour anymore. Mm -hmm. So in like half of the tour, I started to feel the pain. So I need also like 15 minutes where I'm massaging both my uh, arms. And I need the time for that. And I also, act, in these times, I, while I'm massaging, for, for example, I'm also trying to concentrate on the, on the heat. Mm -hmm. And I try to think of the set list and I try to get into the mood. And slowly the other guys are getting dressed. I put my earplugs. When I'm feeling comfy in my stage clothes, then that's the time when everything changes. Like It's like a sort of cut between the pre-show and the showtime. Yeah, 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 and yeah. that has to has to, if possible, arrive always in a certain way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If this is distorted, I feel kind of stressed. Now, you'll hear, and, and it might sound like a silly thing for people that, you know, don't really get into the artist's mind, but, Obviously. um, you know, 
you'll have singers that say, oh, touring in winter is very different than touring in summer and stuff like that. For you, do you notice that? In Absolutely. Absolutely. February, for example, is one of always more the more difficult time because of what I mentioned before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was sick and everybody's low with, with voice. And uh, for whatever reason, although we are not in the US, we get like uh, ice cold drinks the whole day, even water, it's always ice cold and that's absolutely not good for the yeah. voice. Uh, from morning to, to the evening, we only have ice cold uh, drinks. And of course, in winter, you don't have this capacity of also like going outside and breathing a little bit and, and having a, a walk just to chill out because mm. it's sometimes it's like raining like we had a lot of rainy days in this tour and therefore you're like okay do I have to decide between a warm backstage and a rainy cold uh, London yeah, yeah, yeah and I stay in the backstage you know what I mean yeah maybe I'm still not completely fine with my health so I need to do yeah, the decisions yeah. and it is different when it's in spring yeah, yeah, or in yeah. fall because when it's in spring for example you can enjoy a little bit more light outside so maybe before the show you take a walk maybe it's you know it started to, to be a little bit warmer in the evening like 15 degrees and so so maybe you can enjoy a little bit of time by yourself and so that's a, a big difference yeah, yeah, yeah. all right well you know I, there's no more sunshine as we're talking exactly. it's, uh, it's not raining at least right now at but least, uh, at least, at least yeah. that but uh, i will let you calmly enjoy the build-up towards that oh, moment and that first note from temperance so that you can go into, exactly. the, into the right mode fabio thank you so much for answering some thank of my questions thank you for having today. me and thanks a lot again to everyone for the album of the year you are awesome for watching this video click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel